everybody. We're at the Stone Temple Church in North Lawndale, and we're setting up for the Pete Outoff movie that Tom Piper did, Five Seasons. And we'll be showing that movie today to the group in North Lawndale. So it's getting everybody excited about the Sears Sunken Garden that Pete is designing, and was uh, here in North Lawndale at the old Sears complex. So I'll keep you updated. We'll look at how this progresses tonight. We're going to have some of the plans, uh, show people what Pete's designs look like, and they are also the artwork and the thought process and the quality of the garden. So this is just something to talk and share a little bit more about with everybody. We've got some renderings, and they've seen the renderings earlier, but now I think we're going to have a, another group of local uh, people from the community who haven't seen it, so they'll be here today to get introduced to uh, the garden project. Could you guys introduce yourselves and what role you're playing with the Sunken sure. Garden? Hi Roy, I'm Carolyn O'Boyle. I'm with the Trust for Public Land and we are helping to organize all the elements that need to come together to make this garden a reality. Mm -hmm. The funding, the design, the organization, the community wow. outreach. Super. We're not doing it all. We're just helping to organize it. Part part of the collaborative group. Yep. Yep. Super. Hello, Roy. How are you? I'm, I'm Odile Compagnon. I'm an architect. I also teach at the School of the Art Institute, and I'm part of the Rose Committee of NLCCC, and that's how I started uh, helping with uh, the drawings, the initial drawings for the Sears Sunken Garden, and also uh, for the drawings to restore the historic pergola that's right, right. in the garden that's like right in the middle and is some of that taking place now some of that rest we we've done some assessment and we've done some stabilization so it wouldn't deteriorate too much before we uh, get all the funding to actually do the, good. So there's the a restoration start. yeah it's a pretty that's good start good. and we also need to do stuff so it's uh, ada accessible so people can go up and down into the pergola without having to go through too many steps. Oh, wow. Hey, I'm Chris Gent. I'm a landscape architect with Urban Landscape Collaborative. We're working with uh, Pete Udoff to, in, to create the vision that the community has come up with for this uh, public for this public garden. Mm -hmm. And you've got some. You've got quite a bit done already. Though. Got we've got plan. we've got a nice master plan. Yeah, we've done a couple concepts, and then we've developed that. Uh, with Pete's uh, input on, on developing the uh, master plan for the Super. development. So things are moving. Yes, it's yeah. good. I have one more thing to yeah, add good. if I could. Good. You know, we're so excited about the community interest and the civic interest in restoring this garden, but we need funding to make it happen. Right. So right. We, we received a very generous gift from the Driehaus Foundation of $1 million. That's a good so start. So that's a great right. start, but right. we need everybody's help mm -hmm. to really get across the finish line and so that we can see all these great designs realized. So if people want to go to the Sears Sunken Garden website, um, they can find out how they could donate okay, to make so, this. So any, any thoughts or any contributions, Sears Sunken Garden website yep, would be a good sure. place. Yes, yeah. please. We need your help. Thanks. Well, we're going to keep put, keep moving forward. Thank we're you. Keep going Thank forward. you, Ryan. Oh, we got more people come in. So you heard it. We're going to keep moving forward because this is a community changer. This is... This isn't, this is community involvement and, and the community is looking for change in, in a solid structural way. All right, look who walked in. There's uh, Tom Piper. Hello, he created really? the documentary with Pete. So um, it's pretty exciting, Tom, to show it for the second time and, and get people uh, more interested even in uh, Sunken Garden. How, how are you feeling? What do you, what, what? Yeah, it's really great to be back in Chicago and back here in North Lawndale and um, yeah I don't know I just thought it'd be a nice way to sort of bring some more awareness about what, you know, yeah. what Pete's done and get a chance to show it to some of the people in the neighborhood right I think now we're right here in the neighborhood with the film we did a good showing in Lake Forest and had a good turnout so I think yeah getting more intimate I'd say yeah right, yeah the neighborhood. yeah and I, I mean it, that I, to me it feels like that's what makes this project feel a little more special a little different from other ones is 
that it's community driven, that it's going to be right. you know, something that pe people in the neighborhood have been working on for a long time. And now with Pete involved uh, right. and you guys involved, obviously it's, it's, it's raised its profile a little mm -hmm. bit, but it still feels very much like um, a neighborhood project. Yeah, I think places. people are still finding out about it, you know, still trying to understand what the possibilities are and, and then when can we start? That's yeah. what people are listening to. So. Um, and yeah, and you were telling me about the whole history of the neighborhood and stuff, which I think also adds something to the story and, and something yeah, to Yeah, there's a lot. The it's, importance of it. Um, so, okay, well, well, we'll see what the next group of people coming yeah, in are setting up and we'll the get goes. the film rolling. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. All right, thanks, Roy. Uh, this is Chris Kent, the uh, landscape architect working with Pete from Chicago, explaining the process to people coming in. Further this along in its development, it's still, as a master plan, it's still being refined a little bit. I understand and we're completely. We're looking to oh, a ramp. How lovely! Yes, accessible yes. ramps. Accessible it's ramps. important. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Remember yeah. some of the play? We there was a local theater company that had a play that was done in various locations. Uh -huh. And the Peace Garden was one of the locations okay. of some of the, and then we also had some of the play right here. Okay. You know, and we just walked through the whole neighborhood, interacting with people mm -hmm. and listening about a black gentleman who had been recorded the most times before they had to. Oh. You know, uh huh. Yes. Okay, so now we're getting older community interactions about uh, Sarah's area uh, from 40 years ago. So it's very cool. We're involving everybody. Curiosity is great. And we're getting ready to start Pete's movie, the Pete Outlaw movie. The people are filing and we're moving upstairs. The crowd got bigger, so we're moving upstairs. We got the city of Chicago here too, which is cool. All right, let's uh, wait for everyone to move up and people come up and, and we'll be in the five seasons.